It's not uncommon for large tech companies to try to get into the smartphone market, but Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer and Tesla rival Neo made quite a jump from cars to mobile electronics with the release of their Neo phone. In addition to lots of other things, what makes the Neo phone so unique is the fact that it is made by a car company, created with tons of features to enable smooth integration with the vehicle's built-in software and functions in mind. But is a phone like this even necessary? How has it performed so far, and will other car companies follow suit? Let's investigate. The Neo phone, like tons of other smartphones on the market, runs on an Android-based operating system. It provides a pure Android experience without any pre-installed apps or banner ads, aiming to create an ecosystem across vehicles, devices, and services for a seamless user experience. With ultra-wideband technology, Neo offers precise, fast, and of course, secure location tracking and the user can even control features of their car remotely with what they call the Neo Link functions, like unlocking it by simply approaching the vehicle. And it can also turn on lights and adjust things like the air conditioning, heat and ventilation of the car. You can even remote control your Neo car with the phone's summon feature to easily get your EV out from its parking space. One of the more fun things about the Neo Link phone to car connection is how it supports entertainment features like gaming and video casting. You can even connect a wireless controller for your gaming needs. But unlike a lot of competitors, this isn't just a regular screen mirror. The Link feature also allows for video calls, navigation, and lots of other handy usages. These features can be enabled with 5G connectivity and a Qualcomm semiconductor. It has a 5,200 mAh battery that enables 66 watt fast charging and 50 watt wireless. It is also capable of charging other devices with 10 watt reverse charging. And with a Neo car, you can place your phone into the charging slot to charge while you're on the go. On the back of the phone, you will find a triple camera setup, a 50 megapixel primary sensor with optical image stabilization, a periscope telephoto camera, also with 50 megapixels and OIS, and finally, an ultra-wide camera unit, also with 50 megapixels and accompanied by a circular LED flash module. The phone's camera is quite comparable to other giants of the smartphone industry and should allow for both great video footage and still images. There is a dedicated action button that they have labeled the Neo Link button, which will activate the car control card and allow the user to launch over 30 functions with just a click. These functions include window controls, seat adjustment, managing the EV's charging, viewing real-time information like battery levels, remaining range, maintenance alerts, and much more. With their in-car smart assistant, Nomi, Neo has enabled many voice-controlled functions for the phone as well, for a smoother user experience. With Nomi, you can search for nearby charging and power swap stations, and if you're feeling tense, even activate the Neo Car's in-seat massage feature. Some of these features can be activated with the previously mentioned Neo Link button as well, but a lot of them feel smoother with the voice activation. The Neo phone comes in three different variations. The first version has 12 gigabyte RAM and 512 gigabytes worth of storage. The second version also has 12 gigabyte RAM, but with one terabyte of storage. The third and most impressive version has an extended 16 gigabyte of RAM and also offers one terabyte of storage. The different versions are of course priced differently as well. Version one goes for 6,499 Chinese RMB or around 889 USD. Version 2 will set you back 6,899 RMB or around 944 USD. The most capable version costs a whopping 7,499 RMB or around 1026 USD. This goes to show that although Neo's CEO, William Li, has stated that they don't intend to compete with other Chinese smartphone brands like Xiaomi or Huawei, they still are trying to make the Neo phone a premium product in its own right. Perhaps that's what's needed to have your tech ecosystem taken seriously. Neo is really working to make sure that this is worth putting effort into as a company. They want the Neo phone to specifically be the perfect supplement for their Neo cars, but also function as well as any other top tier smartphone out there on the market currently. Neo also have plans to release a new iteration of the Neo phone every year, just like most other smartphone manufacturers like Apple or Samsung. But can you even get a Neo phone or even a Neo car where you live? As of right now, Neo are operating in a select number of countries outside of China itself and are looking to expand further in the near future. Currently, the company operates mainly in Norway, Germany, Sweden, 
Denmark and the Netherlands. In 2025, they are planning to make one of their biggest moves yet, as they have plans to enter the massive US market that year. But is creating smartphones with a linked ecosystem going to become a standard for all EV manufacturers, or is it just a gimmicky way of separating themselves from other companies like Tesla, who have made lots of efforts to get into the Chinese market in recent years? Are Neo a potential contender for the EV market throne? What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. For more information about the ever-changing smartphone and electric car markets and everything else tech, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Oasis channel.